Hello everyone and welcome to method number one on 10 ways on how to make money on evolution of combat. Now the first method is going to be flipping or merching as some of you call it. Now to start off travel to the Grand Exchange. Now you do need quite a bit of money I would say about 10 to 15 million to get a good decent jump start to flipping. You can easily do this with two or even one million but I strongly suggest the more the better. So now buy any item, just one of an item. Let's say papaya fruit. Now we're going to want to buy it instantly. That means we do not wait for it to fill. And then we write down the price it bought at and then we sell it instantly. This means that we do not wait for it to sell. Now that we got these two prices, these are going to be our margins. It means that whatever we instantly sold it for, that is what we're going to be buying at. Whatever we instantly bought at, that means that's the price we're going to be selling at. So, do remember that whatever you sold at, it means that other people are buying at that price. So, I always suggest buy slightly higher than what you sold at and sell slightly lower than what you bought at, if that makes sense. So, I sold my papaya fruit instantly for 1176, but I am now buying almost 5,000 at 1,180. It means that my price is higher than everyone else's and it also means that mine will fill first. Now do remember that this can be done for almost every item in RuneScape. Stuff from herbs, planks, armors. But do remember that in the Grand Exchange there is a limit on how much you can flip every four hours. Now, what does this limit mean to you? Now, it means that some items can't be mass flipped because in the past, people could control the market. So J Jagex decided to put a limit on how much you could buy and sell every four hours. Now, some items are 25,000 per four hours, some are 10,000, some are five, some are 100, some are 10, and some items are just one per four hours. Now the ones that are one or ten per four hours, those are the armors. The ones that are ten or five thousand, they are usually the secondary items. Items like herbs, Grenwall spikes, papayas, coconut, those sort of items are five to ten thousand. Now in case you want to find out how much you can flip, I strongly suggest going on Google, writing your item, and looking on wikia and seeing on how many the buy limit is because if there are thousands of items on runescape it would be pretty much hard for me to kind of mention every item now raw fish logs those are items that you can buy 25,000 of so I strongly suggest flipping those if you are new to this flipping because those are items that will fill or the offers will buy and sell the first. The lower items that can only be bought one every four hours, those will take usually a bit longer to sell. Now do remember that for your items to buy, you have to wait for people to sell. Or if you are selling, you have to wait for people to buy the item for your offers to buy or sell. In case you are saying to yourself, oh, I don't get it, Oh, this is too complicated. Oh, this is going to take forever. Just try it. Like, when I remember that when I started flipping, I was like, oh, this is so boring. This is going to take forever. The money's coming in too slow. But then I kind of got used to it. Then I started training skills in the Grand Exchange stuff like fire making, fletching, uh, cooking. If you do skills whilst flipping, you, you can enjoy it a lot more. So whilst you are flipping, I strongly suggest to maybe do fire making, cooking, any skill that can be done in the Grand Exchange. Now, I know that a lot of you are going to be asking me what items I can flip. Now, if you are low level, flip nature runes. I am now working out the margin for nature runes. Now, it instantly bought for 113 and it instantly sold for 112. That means I now buy at 112 
and once my offer fails or half fails, I sell it at 113. Now, most of your flips should usually be um, about 1% profit. If you are fortunate, you can get up to 2 to even 3% profit, but those are the rare occasions. If you can make around 1 to 2% of your money per day, that is very good. Now, flipping is overall quite safe. Um, I'm going to be honest. I only seem to lose money when I hold items for quite some time. So just say I buy something and then I want to hold it for maybe a week. Um, sometimes I make very good profits, but sometimes there's a chance that I lose money. So if you're flipping, overall you are quite safe. But do remember that sometimes whilst you're flipping, someone could dump an item. That means that just say you buy 1,000 coconuts. Someone else comes by, sells 1 million in the Grand Exchange for just say 1,000 each. This could crash the item, meaning that when you bought for just say 3,500, it's now worth only 1,000. Now this barely happens, I've never even heard of it happen, but sometimes when you're flipping an item, it would drop maybe 10 to 15 coins um, every hour or so until it stabilizes or even rises whilst you're flipping. So these are now all my profits I've made. Some are very good, some are not so good, but very good for low level players with low money. So overall, you should really get into flipping. By the way, if your item does not sell for maybe an hour, you should try and sell for how much you bought for. Now, I actually sold it about an hour later for what I bought for, but do remember that it will not always be successful. So in case you panic, just sell for what you bought for. So thanks all for watching this guide. I hope it helped. I will have other methods out later on this week or maybe even today, but I will get around to doing it. Thanks all for watching. Please subscribe, like, and comment.